Hi guys, I just want to do a quick video on some bug out bags I have. I need to update them anyway because the season changed. But on the left, that bag there, the blue and grey one, is a mountain warehouse bag. It's 65 litres and that's the one I take when I go to the woods for a little bit and practice my um, bushcraft skills and um, my pathfinder training course and stuff like that. So that one's a bit big but it has to carry my camera equipment. Um, and some food and stuff like that for the day or whatever I'm trying to uh, practice with my new gear, gear review, that kind of stuff. That middle bag there, that's a 70 litre bag from Decathlon and it was half price I think to 40 quid and it's a good bag. I like how it opens up in the front to get to stuff instead of having to dig through the top all the time. But again, that's a, that's a, a kind of bag that has all my spares in it that I didn't really want to leave on the side or trade but it's also some kind of decent kit that I wanted to keep now this bag here that's a bit of a beast that's a Polish army bag and I got that one off uh, Facebook and one of the trade posts there that's the one I want to review today because there's a few um, mistakes that I made with that bag when I got it and I wanted to share with you guys and see if I could help anybody else not make the same mistake I made um, with that bag so yeah, I'll get to that bag in a minute. Guys, right, this is the bag I wanted to review today. It is, uh, it's full, right? Um, the top part is food, uh, rice, pasta, um, some dried food packs, stuff like that. You just need to add water with. I'm not too worried about that. That's been rotated and the stuff in there lasts uh, two years at least. Um, I'm going to spread out as much stuff as I can on the floor here and I'm also going to put some stuff in the bucket just to save room. But I'm going to work on the outside and work my way in, right? On the outside of here, it's just a cheap and cheerful Draper crowbar. Now, some people like have a bug out bag and they're ready to go to the woods and stuff like that. But a lot of people don't have woods near them and you have to go to your urban environment even if you want to get to the woods to get to the woods. I prefer if I had to leave my house for weather or whatever reason you want to use. I don't want to get into details about that kind of stuff. But um, you might have to go to places like abandoned houses, sheds, anything like that to get into. So I prefer having a crowbar on there. And I'm a big fan of wool. This is the 100% wool blanket. I just bought this one on my trip to Lake District. Um, so I like that one, that's a good find for me. So that's my, uh, for warmth. This one here, I'll try to untie this quick for you. Now, I'm not gonna say reasons for, but this is a cheap and cheerful um, machete. Uh, I don't, I try to buy top of the line stuff or really expensive stuff, but it's a uh, angle arms one. It's a, nice, it's a nice, really sharp, it's a nice machete. But again, it wouldn't get much use because hey, you can't really, like even to the woods I go to, I wouldn't want to risk anybody seeing me with this. That's there. Now this top part of this bag comes off, which is a nice feature. So I have all my food in there. I can spread this into here. So say if I lose this, I'm not totally out of food, which would be a good idea. But all my food is in there. But I want to get to this main bit here. It has uh, three drawstrings here, which is quite nice. But this is a ribs pack. I did mention this before, I have done a review on this. I took it to the Lake District and it was quite handy um, carrying extra stuff in there. Basically, I'm not sure if a lot of UK people seen this, because it's really American. Um, basically, you wear it on straps you throw it on and it, it kind of sits on your ribs like so so you can actually just go into your pockets and grab stuff you can carry stuff without having to have a, with a ruck, but you can carry stuff with a rucksack on with you which is nice it holds I think 15 or 20 liters in here has a small zippy pocket here a large one so you can put water bottles some food um, if you want to put anything else in there, like navigation and stuff, or comms, you can put that in that side there. 
Ooh. Okay. This, again, going with the urban idea, is a lock pit set. So a lock pit set is good, but also you need a lot of practice with it. Don't expect to do it on the fly today. The they sell these locks on the clear ones on eBay you can get to practice with, it, which is always handy. In here you have my slingshot, some ball bearings, a um, squeezy wind-up um, torch, a headlamp, a uh, my rat two, which is nice, really nice knife. Okay, that's all in that one. Also, I like keeping stuff in pouches. I don't like leaving stuff loose. If you look at my um, woods bag, everything's in pouches because I have the option of taking the pouches out and putting it on a belt if I wanted to and having the stuff with me if I go away from the camp, which is also a good idea. Uh, windshield, gas, and a micro um, stove top. I use a rifle case two glow sticks and a uh, large flashlight again from Mountain Warehouse really good LED torch this is my first aid kit has a little bit of beeswax there you got a tourniquet potassium a heavy duty um, first aid traveler kit who makes that again life systems a life systems I, I like clamshell um, first aid kits you can get to, which is really nice and handy. Also, make sure you check the dates on that stuff too. Uh, sewing all, a map of the area, and a spare band for a slingshot. Food for free book. Roll of duct tape. It's like one of those fake condor pouches you can buy. Uh, has fire kit in here, knife sharpener, multi-tool, the pathfinder, fish mouth for hanging a um, bottle over the fire or whistle. You got head um, snook, handkerchief, pathfinder bottle. I highly recommend these, really good bottles. I got the lid for it and the uh, cup. Yeah, these are really good, high quality stuff, that one. I like that. All right, this is my cook set. I have soap for washing up, spork. Got a flexi bowl, these are quite handy, they're quite cheap, only about three quid from Life Adventure. It just pops open and you got a bit of a space saver bowl there. A bit of oil, um, vegetable oil, another spork, and my little pots and pans that all fold into each other. I'm not even sure what's in this one, the pack is so well and gone. Right. Baby wipes for hygiene, they got spare shirt, socks, trousers, pants, a spare set of clothes in a dry bag. Some beastly stuff in here. Oh yeah. This is my anchor solar charger. That's, um, I also have the adapter in there to charge batteries. I think we're halfway in there now. All right. Tarp. SAA book. Smog. Waterproof trousers, spare batteries and headlamp again. Hammock, nylon hammock. 
a thermal blanket, another emergency blanket, some rope, water bottle with the um, full Sawyer kit in there. It's a Sawyer water filter, water tablets, the cleaning kit, all that in one container. Pull a rabbit out in a minute, this thing. Uh, more rope, so another pouch of cordage. Again, keeping with the pouch theme so I can carry stuff with me. Dust mask by two. That's my hygiene kit, so toothbrush, uh, shampoo, soap, a um, couple of towels, small towels. Sleeping bag, um, it's a light one, it's not a heavy one. It's a plus five degrees one. Yeah, that's from Storm Shield. Water carrier. Oh yeah. Ooh. This here, I did a video about this in the past, and basically this is my bow. Um, it's an archery tool roll, I called it in my last video. And basically you have all your kit here for archery. I got six arrows. My, my compact survival bow is in this one here. I also have um, spare rope, wax, all that kind of stuff. So I have another um, tool there for hunting or can't say self-defense. Is a Shrey 37, very handy, bulky knife, really good knife. I took the blob coating off it, but another pouch with a folding saw. Is a fire kit. Right. Got dragon fire gel, uh, some zip cubes, some birch bark, lint, a couple of lighters, ferro rods, what else? A uh, magnifying lens, tin for char cloth. So I have at least good four or five ways of making a fire there. I'm going to keep that in a dry bag. Small spade. Bug net. Because um, my hammock doesn't have the built-in net. If you do get a hammock, I do recommend getting that. I prefer a hammock because we, we get a lot of rain here. Loo roll in a bag. Wind up clock. Oh no, I'll wind up clock. Wind up radio, torch, some more zip cubes, another um, head torch, bar of soap, a Bear Grylls uh, knife sharpener. And I think that's it. And, oh, tin foil. I got some spare tin foil on that one. Um, I got a book in here for notes and photos of family, my kids, my fiance, all that kind of stuff for morale boosting. I think we're almost done. Uh, There's a little grill I made and basically it's just a, a grill for... I forgot what I ripped it off. But I took some tent pegs and just curved the ends on them so I could stick them in the ground and I have a, a stand for a cooking pot and stuff. I think that's it. Glove. And a pair of thick gloves. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, that's my long-term leaving bag. So inch bag, if you want to call it that. But let me know what you think. Um, I need to lighten this bag up. I mean, like, it's hard to pick out what you don't need and don't need, but what you do need, we don't need. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about it, what I can probably take out. Um, I prefer a bag that's not tactical. I mean, if I can swap this bag to say this bag here, who my friend Brad gave me, Ball Brad, a uh, really good bag, good buckles, but again, it's the padding on it. You want some good straps, good ventilation on it, and it's heavy duty. Like the bag I took before, the um, the gray one 
from uh, Decathlon. That bag's a hiking bag. I took that bag up and down Lake District, no problems, carrying it, weight, all the rest of it. This one here, this is going to be probably like uh, 25 kilos plus, and I won't be going that far. I mean, if you stop and make a base camp and you empty the weight out of the bag, that's fine, but you're going to be suffering. So I want to lighten this bag up a little bit, possibly move it to maybe another bag. But if you like this, let me know, like, share, subscribe, please. Give me some uh, positive criticism in the uh, comments below what you think I should um, take out or add to it. Thanks for watching. Bye.